So for the core, thrust of the core, where m dot a naught, so the specific thrust for the core is going to be just m naught c6 over c naught minus 1, which is the same formula we had for the turbojet. And remember for the turbojet, we had c6 over c naught where the station numbering is changed and c7 over c naught for the turbojet is equivalent to c6 over c naught here. This was theta naught tau c tau t minus 1 all times tau b over theta naught minus 1. But here, the temperature rise is due to two compressions. So there's tau f and tau c. And for the turbine, we have tau from the high pressure turbine and tau from the low pressure turbine. So then C6 over C0 for the turbofan engine should really be written this way. Theta naught, tau f, tau c, tau hpt, tau lpt, minus 1, all times tau b over theta naught minus 1. So, putting this back into our formula for the specific thrust, we get that Fc over m dot a naught for the core is m naught all times the square root of theta naught tau f tau c tau hpt. Now LPT minus one all times tau B over theta naught minus one. Square root of all that minus one. Now consider the bypass stream. So here there's no turbine. So for the bypass, we have the TT8 is T8, 1 plus tau minus 1 over 2m8 squared, and this must equal T0 theta0 tau f. And for the pressure, TT8 is T8, 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2m8 squared to the gamma over gamma minus 1, which must be p naught delta naught by f. Because the components are ideal, we can write this as p naught theta naught tau f to the gamma over gamma minus 1. Now, as before, we assume that P8 equals P0, which then gives us that 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2m8 squared equals theta0 tau f. And therefore m8 mock number at the for nozzle exit is 2 over gamma minus 1 theta naught tau f minus 1.
And as for the temperatures, we see over T naught equals theta naught tau f over 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 m a squared. If we put in that from the previous equation, theta naught tau f equals 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 m a squared, we get that this must just be 1. So therefore, the specific thrust from the bypass, now including the bypass ratio alpha, is m naught times c8 over c naught minus 1, which is m naught g over gamma minus 1, theta naught tau f minus 1, the root over m naught minus 1. So then the total thrust for a turbofan, ideal turbofan, f over m dot a naught is just the sum of these. So this is m naught theta naught tau f tau c tau HPT, tau LPT, minus 1, times tau B, over theta naught minus 1, square root minus 1, plus alpha M naught, 2 over gamma minus 1, Theta naught tau f minus 1 over m naught minus 1. So this is the total specific thrust for an ideal turbofan.